Hi there and welcome back to EU4, where the whole of the black sheep battles Transoxiana. Well, we don't battle because our Sultan doesn't like the military and our Sultana doesn't like the military, even though she's cruel. And so we're just defending our allies because, yeah, we also don't have very great admirals or something. I mean, we have good admirals, but the roles we get due to our low military skill are terrible. And so we're just moving around, waiting for Transoxiana to give in one day or not, or for something to change. <laughs> and for us to repay our loans, which is our highest priority right now. Oh, um, would, would you like to renew the war taxes? Of course, because still the age of discovery, we've purchased the improved war taxes, so <laughs> that's all good. And now Transoxiana. Mm. Is recovering again. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. <laughs> Things are going terrible. And now we have a decisive victory. The Shivani conquest of Lakia has been successful. Nice. Full annexation was demanded from Gazikumuk. Oh, Gazikumuk will pay 160 ducats to Sherman and his allies, which is us. So we will get 83 of this amount. And uh, Sherman gets some countries here. And we get some prestige. Nice. Okay, 17 favors. And they are not our ally anymore for some reason. We'll, we'll move back though, I think to Cartley. There we go. Is Cartley good enough for this kind of army? No, it's not. So where will we move? Guria could be good. Guria should be good. Yes. Let's send them to Guria. The highest revolt risks are there at the moment and so we have the piece we wanted. We can collect the money. We can repay the bank if we want. And we'll do that right now because, yeah, we're nervous. Sultan Kara Yusuf is nervous enough and the loan will be soon due too. If received wrote that Sherman have embraced the Renaissance. Oh my god, we're so backwards here. That's something that's worrying our Sultan. He's always wanted to be seen as progressive all kinds of things like that was our mission create a proper fleet yeah that's something he would like to work on and now and now something else happens many among the ulima question the great influence that storytellers have over the life of common men the traditional hero stories of our people are centuries old but they risk making a cult out of seriously distorted fates of historical figures a prominent cleric in Luristan have taken a strong stand against the storytellers of the realm and cautious that religious scholars of the past have warned that obsessive listening to stories could lead to false worship. Ah, we're not afraid of that. There's nothing wrong in idealizing our ancestors. We need glory now. The diplomats and the monarch is, is someone else than, uh, than the Sultana. I mean, the Sultana would probably squash them down, but not the monarch. Our sultan will be okay with that. What do we have? Oh, we have the Sistani again. Oh, that's quite nice. What do they need for a vassalization? We don't really know, but let's, let's actually build relations with them. Khan is there again. And Khorasan? Mm, no. Khorasan's not good. How could Sistan get founded again with a, the Shiites? Well, we are not complaining. We like our Shiite friends. But 
We need to recover manpower so much. <gasps> Hulk. We need ships now. Zero out of twelve. We need uh, eight ships, I think. We'll multiple all forts in the view of the war being over. We'll start to build ships. We should build barks, right? Protect our trade. Yeah. And that's what we should do. Even though um, galleys would be more effective there, probably. We should go box because we can protect trade there. But first we need kind of a little bit of a chest, right? Because... How much corruption do we have? Oh, a yearly change of a little bit. We'll change that here. Jilon has insulted us. Oh my god. How's their ruler? He's kind hearted. Why did they insult us? I have no clue. Now, his and Kaifa is also converted. Making great progress here with our conversions. Let's now take on maybe Guria. We are stationed in Guria, so would be good. Convert Guria. Aren't we making any progress? Um, all right, all right. Religious zeal. And here. Wow, also a religious zeal. Minus 100%. When, that, when does that go away? What? Why do they have a religious seal here? They are zealots, undoubtedly. Where does that come from? Aha. They've been recently converted. There's that. We need to wait 15 years. Oh my god. And now diplomatic technology. Yes, there we go. Need to progress. We've got shipyards that we can build. Nice shipyards. Um, what would they bring us? I don't want a marketplace. Maybe we maybe want a dock or a shipyard. Shipbuilding time goes down, but not the cost. And then it's not that important. Then we'll build ships. We've got improvements in trade technology. Our merchants have picked up a few new concepts when it comes to handling trade when they encountered some foreign merchants. The monarch is happy about that, as he's a diplomat. I think that with, with some investment to try it out, it will be very beneficial for Karakoyunlu in the Long run, yes, spare no expenses. Experimental there. And we shall probably bring down the inflation right now, right? Hmm. 
War exhaustion is 1.5. We can control that. Let's reduce the inflation here. Zero in cars. Okay, we can stop it in cars too. I mean, they will just be more pissed. There we go. So right now, we need men and we need ships. And that's what we'll go for. Importing naval supplies. Ambition to improve our nation's navy has recently come to a halt. Oh, the Karako Yunlu shipbuilders don't lack ideas or plans but supplies. Some of them cannot help but notice they claim that our neighbor has an abundance of materials that would be useful in equipping a modern navy. We try not to make our fleet dependent on foreign support, but if these policies stand in the way of progress, perhaps we could import just enough to test the new shipbuilding techniques. Uh, hmm. What would we be? Would we be protective or no? We want to we want to build ships right now, so we can compromise if it puts some plans in motion. From Akko Yunlu even. Well they are beaten, of course. And this is uh, from the past, like he's maybe oh my god, from our rival. But yeah, he's not a warrior. He's an open-minded young young guy that wants to build ships, as that's what he is, thinks he wants to do. His father would probably kill him for that or something. <laughs> Stabilizing the country again. That's that's what he does, right? He's just Happy he can use counter spies and, and things like that. But maybe he's also he also likes um Maybe he also likes oh we have too many military leaders even. And yeah, then we should fire someone. We can dismiss Jahan Shah Musafa. Or Pir Budak Yusuf would be a better choice, right? He's older and he's not as good, so. Dismiss him then. And Mazandran wants to marry us and we will marry it. We have Sufi syncretism, Sufis. Their mystical and less legalistic approach to Islam are often more welcome among the heathen than the highly educated ulima, or soldiers of the faith. They have different ways, and a Sufi manager has managed to quite, get quite a following in all two. Oh my god, they, they got zealots there. He's, I mean, he's doing God's work, but it won't help. We cannot... This is madness, right? People will, will just go mad here. That's what we think. He'll do it. He'll have to do his preaching elsewhere. Of course, that's mad. They, the people will kill him or kill us. <laughs> we have peace in the country. And in the Ulima. We take no special side. So we can... Oh, God, Sherwin, what are you doing? Lania against Kirkasia. Kirkasia is guaranteed by the Great Horde. They cite conquest. Oh. They want Kirkasia and the Great Horde. Okay, we'll accept. And... To raise war taxes again, and we need to mothball all the forts because we don't need them. And then our armies will be at, I don't know, this.
maybe at this. There we go. So we'll help you when you're in, in trouble a little bit and we'll move our army with Jahan Shah Musafar over to this place here maybe. 21 supply, 28 supply me to Terek. We could move it to Terek. Maybe we need to increase the army maintenance. Maybe that is something we need to do. These terrible warriors of Sherwin. Well, we will help them. There they are, the great horde warriors. And we're waiting here in, in Terek. We're doing the same tactics as before. Defensive ones. Defender controls Alania, but that will change soon. They've got a terrible army. Terribly bad. That will change soon too. Maybe we'll gain some glory here. We've still got 25 months here. And uh, things are going okay. Yeah, let's 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 go back from from converting all to cancel that missionary now. The Sultan's reputation is tarnished. Some sort of propaganda text is circulating in the court about how Kara Yusuf the Great Sheep is a ruthless power monger. Uh, nothing could be far away from the truth. This might impact our relations with other countries. Um, but executing someone for this, that's what the Sultana would do. And we want to oppose the Sultana. Because she has made us insane. Hey, Sistan, how do you do? That could be our new alliance, by the way, system. Maybe we'll go over the top for that. Maybe we'll do that. And Mazandran? I think they have claims, right? Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. But system would be a nice alliance. They have rivals of Baluchistan. And enemies of Baluchistan here. So very controllable. Probably not the time right now. So maybe we'll go for our old um, rivals. Let's see. Transoxiana, we have Ak Koyunlu. We could build a spy network there too. Old enemies. We might get to them again. There are also, I think, more Shiites here. We might need to free, but. We don't know. For now, it's going against our rivals. And that should be enough. And there's the Great Horde. Nostrakan. Hey, look at that. Mystics and storytellers. So, um, there's nothing wrong in idealizing our ancestors again. We love our storytellers. And uh, thank you for watching. Join us again for more story storytelling action in the next episode where we just spy a little bit against our rivals and try to help our 
our ally Sherman, against the Great Hall. That is not so great anymore. At least after that war. <laughs> so have a good time until then, and happy gaming. See you then.